cousins. Woohoo! All right, we're here. Cousins with the K. Let me know where you guys are watching from. I'm going to put the link in the bio if you want to join as a guest. Okay? If you want to join as a guest, I'll put the link in the bio. In the meantime, cousins with the K. Wait, we're live, right? Y'all can see me? Why does it say waiting? Is it live? It's saying upcoming. Um, can you guys see me live right now? I'm on the YouTube part and it's telling me that it's pending. So yes, we're live. Why is it saying pending on my phone then? Um, okay. All right. Okay. The link has been, the link is in the bio section of YouTube. Comment section, comment section. So if you want to join as a guest, the link is in the comment section on YouTube. A couple of things, make sure you guys are subscribing to this YouTube channel, share it, do all that great stuff, do all those good things. And now it's also in the Facebook comment section. So if you want to join as a guest, you're looking for love, um, the link to join as a guest is in the YouTube comment section and Facebook comment section. It's pinned in both areas. Um, all right. All right, let's get to it. 21 and older, have good Wi-Fi, have good light. No videos come down. Kendra G, that is I, not reliable or liable for anybody me. Whoever you meet is on you. Boom. And it's on you. Do your own research before you meet somebody in person. Okay? Lexi, show me the room, Lexi. Show me the room, Lexi. Show me the room. Okay. I think we get to go. Ready? I can't hear you, love. Turn your volume on. Ooh, edges is laid. Mom, okay, girl. <laughs> Her wig not on. I can't show her right her now. Her wig not on. Her wig not on. Okay. Yeah. Come on. What's your name, love? Is it Lexi? My name is Alexis. Okay, get situated for me, Alexis. You gotta stop moving, boo. I don't want to be one of those, Kendra. Let me stop moving. All right, there we go. How old are you, Alexis? I'm 27. 27. Where are you calling me from? Tampa, Florida. Tampa, Florida. How old are you? You just asked me that. I'm 27. I know. That's my fault. <laughs> oh, I'm just like, yeah, I repeat a lot of things. What's your zodiac sign? Pisces. Pisces. What you do for a living, Alexis? I'm a customer service agent. Customer service agent. You have any children? I have one. How old's your child? She's nearly two. Nearly two. Why are you not with the dad? My therapist told me he's emotionally unavailable. Okay. So I let that go, you know, high school sweetheart. Let that go. Okay. So you're, there, so you're in therapy. I went to therapy after having my kid. Okay. You know, women go through stuff. So I, you know, took that step, but I'm out of therapy now. Not therapy now. Okay. So we got Alexis, 27 Pisces, Tampa, Florida, cu customer service agent. Yeah. One child that's almost two. Yeah. Have you ever been married? No, ma'am. All right. And never married. Let's do it. Um, what kind of man are you looking for, girl? Good question. I'm reading the comments. I'm sorry. Let me turn them off. I'm just looking for a nice guy. That's it. That's a nice guy. Yep. Okay. Should he does he have to look a certain way? No. I'm open yeah. right now. I never like dated, but I went on dates with people outside of my race, but I never like, you know, dated outside of my race consistently. Okay. Okay. Um, so what are your deal breakers? 
I'm topping out at two kids. Two kids max. Okay. Two kids um, max. What else? You have to be financially stable, obviously. We do not play that in Florida. Like, no, none of that. I have what if, I'm what if financially stable me because a guy may financially making... stable is subjective. I'm sorry to cut you off, Kendra. Financially stable is subjective. Whatever you know your amount is, that's good for you. I'm 27. I got my own car. I own my own house. Like, come correct. And no, no time for the BS. So what is financially stable since you know it's subjective? What is the financial minimum for you? Let's say 50. Since okay. we since we're going to put a number on it, let's say 50. Okay. Okay. No more than two kids. We got to the looks. Let's do the Kendra Cam. You don't gotta pull your shirt up. My baby on my shirt. I want to cover her up. Oh, your baby's on your shirt. Okay, okay. Got gotcha. you. Okay. This um, is just lounge wear, you know, nighttime. You know, you know, check out Instagram. The girl, you know, she dresses, you know. Okay. When was your last relationship? It's my child's father. I want to say a year ago now. A year ago. Okay. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Like four months ago. And no, it was not my child's father. Okay. Is that guy, he wasn't an option? He's an option. What's the issue? I'm very clingy when I like somebody. And he don't got time for me. He worked too much. Okay, okay. Um, three flaws you have to work on. I want to get back in the gym. I was definitely in the gym before I had my kid. Four or five days a week. I'm trying to get back to that. You know, trying to get back to my new normal. You know, it's just different when you have a kid. And stop, you know, leading with emotions because I'm a Pisces. I'm a water sign. You know, I seen it in the comments. Oh, she's crazy. I'm not crazy. I'm very level headed. Um, what else? Something else I want to work on. People have told me I'm codependent, like I'm very family oriented. Like my immediate family stays within a two block radius of me. Mm. So I'm very codependent on family. Like I love family hard. I love hard. Okay. I think family is good. All mm. right. And why would a guy be lucky to be with you? It's a vibe. Obviously, Kendra, you feel it. You know what's up. I don't got to say much. Like it is what it is. You get with it or get lost. I don't know what else to tell you. Yeah. I love you, Kendra. I'm telling you, I've been watching this for forever. When I was pregnant, I was telling my baby daddy, I'm going to go on Kendra. Watch. I'm going to Kendra. Were you guys together? No. Okay. Well, you were just letting him know that now that we're not together, I'm going to go on the Kendra G singles live show. Yes. Oh, I've been watching this so long. I'm like, and then I was. You know, psyching myself out, like, I'm going to wait, you know, to everything in order. You know, like I said, go get back in the gym, get my body back tight. But just because, you know, when you put on a few pounds, a little baby weight, the niggas still be there. Trust me. Trust me. <laughs> Don't play with it. What's the age range you want to date? You're 27. I like Unc Nim. Come mature. Come 32 plus. 30 up. 32. Oh, and 32 up. up. Okay. Yeah, come 32 and up. You call him Unc and him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should he be in Tampa, Florida? No. No? In, in fact, he. He very well cannot be, and I'll be okay with that. Okay. I love to travel. Yes, I can afford my own plane ticket, because don't expect nothing from me. 
It's not like that. Oh, uh, so you're flying to see him and you'll pay for it because you're not giving him none once you get there. Right, because don't. If, I mean, if the vibe is there, then cool. Like, I'm not a prune, but my body count is not because you got to keep it to tight, keep it right, you know? You know, you can't just be passing your shit around. This is A1 around here. A1. A1 huh. vagina. Huh. So your body count is one, you said? No, I didn't. I I said it's not high. Oh, it's not it's high. Not, oh, okay. I my body count can count on one hand, and I'm okay. 27. You said what? My body count, I can count on one hand, and I'm 27. These little girls be passed around. That is not what's going on. Mm -mm. Okay, okay. Never been promiscuous. Never. Never. Do you want more kids? No, ma'am. Come with your own, please. Um, I think I'm one and done. I like, I'm so fulfilled. She's the love of my life. She's beautiful. I love her to death. I'm, I'm very copacetic with her dad. It is no animosity there. But I don't think I want any more kids. I think I'm I'm done. She's done. Okay. Okay. So we got Alexis, 27 Pisces. Tampa, Florida. She was a customer service agent. One child, that's um, nearly two. Never married. She'll date 32 and up. Um, make at least 50K. And let's do this. How could the guy reach out to you? My Instagram handle is on my name here, at Lexis.mc. And there you have it. All right. Here it is. Wait, I got a question for you if you want it. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if this is for you or just a statement. Logical face said, ladies, humility is sexy. Despite what the internet despite what the internet may say, you can be humble and confident. They are not mutually exclusive. I have no response for that. And 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 there you have it. Okay. I, I, I believe, yeah, I don't, I don't have a response for that. Maybe he thought you weren't <laughs> humble. Are you kidding me? I am I am the humblest person I know. Like I am I'm so soft spoken. Like I'm just getting on here because I'm nervous I have to speak up. I can't be in my shell and try to, you know, have people contact me. How are you gonna be shy? You gotta speak up. And how did how they gonna know what you want if you don't speak up, baby? Mm. Speak up, what you chest? Well that hurt. Okay. No, keep, it the sound is is louder than how, how hard I hit. Don't okay. worry. Right. But speak with your chest. Speak up with your chest, period. This is Florida. Come on. Kendra, you was in Chicago. You know, like, the women, you know, it, it, I have been told, like, we can be a little aggressive, you know. But when I'm with the man, I'm very soft-spoken. I very much let the man take the lead. I love that. I don't want to open any doors. I don't even want to drive. Please come, come drive me around. Please, I, all I want to be is a passenger princess. Please, passenger princess. Okay, okay. You got it all mapped out. So again, it's Alexis, twenty-seven Pisces, Tampa, Florida. Works in cus as a customer service agent. One child that's nearly two, never married, doesn't want any more kids. Bring your own baby. How can the guy reach out to you one more time? At alexis.mc. And again, Kendra, I love you so freaking much, Kendra. I watch you all the time. Oh my gosh. Just give me your flowers real quick. I just love you. Oh, I love you back. You have one more question. Do you want it? Go ahead. Okay. I love you back. I'm going to say that. Miss MK. MK said, if she has everything together, why does she choose to have a child out of wedlock? Who says being married is the end all be all? Sweetie, that's you. All these aunties love to push marriage, marriage, marriage. Married man teeth the most. What are you preaching? What are you like? Seriously. And then to talk about like, you know, financially stable, I am that. To be, I have, um, I, I got st my stuff in order. And I mean, child with, you know, a savings account, college fund, life support. Like, come on, sweetie, it's different ways. You don't have to be, you know, married to to say you're satisfied. No. 
I don't believe in that. And it's just proven too many times not to be the case. And most people aren't happy. Ooh, child. Now you know you're the open up a can of worms with that one, girl. But so let's end it right there. What, do you want to say something else? Like I said, let the aunties have it. I ain't arguing with nobody. My penis, mine, their opinions, theirs. You know, opinions like an asshole. Everybody got one. She said, aunties, y'all can't have it. I think have I'm it. Auntie, have it. And your aunties, your husband is cheating on you with somebody like me. I surrender. Don't shoot the messenger, but I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Someone young and tight like me. I'm just saying. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm just saying. I mean, I mean, I don't do too much. I don't want to. I don't want to. We can be... go, or you, you got some more questions. I'm gonna let you decide. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, go ahead. I'm gonna let you decide. All right. So. You're only on Kendra once. You're only on Kendra once. Okay. I, I, I guess you're touching some emotions with that last statement. L double I said, no matter what you say, it's better to marry and carry, but good luck to you. Thanks. Okay. All right. Logical Faith said, you also have a child who will grow up with a broken home. Okay. Okay. And last, oh wait, there's a couple. Um, Shall she write said, some of y'all, oh, we're not doing that. We're not doing those. Oh, well, she paid, so I'll let her, and that's be it. Y'all need her book, The Healing Journey. Sell, she book. writes, The Healing Journey. And I'll then, make sure I get it. It's on Amazon, sweetie. I'll get it. And then the last one, Tyler said, side chick for life. I said the married man wants a girl like me. I did not say I was messing with any married man. None. I don't do that. No. So I can girl, find somebody to play with. Okay, we gotta stop right there. That's it. That's all. All right, all right. All right I see like, you keep me little girl. feathers. Oh, I don't care. I want Kendra <laughs> in my four bedroom, three bath home. Like, do better. Do better. Do better. All right. Bye, 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 baby. Bye, Kendra. Bye. Love you. Love you back, girl. <laughs> Well, listen, I always say this. People have the right to defend themselves. So whether you like her response or not, she's only responding to things that were said. So she has the right to stand her ground on things that were said. Okay, let's get someone else. Georgia, you ready? Show me the room. Georgia, okay, you're not ready. Bam, bam, show me the room. Show me your room, bam, bam. Okay. You ready? You yes, hey girl. You have a light that can be in your face. I like I like that you're saying you have that light in your face. It's to the side. Can it come to your face? It might be fine. Let me see. Hold on, let me see. Let me see. Let me let me see. This is better. Way. Can other way, other way. Because you want that light. It's like it's like you want to be this is better. Let's try this. Okay. What's your name, love? Name is Brittany. Brittany, where are you calling me from? From Indianapolis. Indianapolis. How old are you? I'm 34. 34. What you do for a living? Um, I work for the army. Army. You have any kids? No, ma'am. No kids. What's your zodiac sign? I'm a Scorpio. Scorpio. So yes. we got Brittany, Indianapolis, 34, Scorpio, works for the army. No kids. What kind of man are you looking for, girl? <sighs> Somebody who's dependable, reliable, someone who's ready to love, somebody who's ready to sacrifice. Yes, okay. ma'am. All right. What are your deal breakers? Someone who does not have an open mind. Someone who is constantly fighting an uphill battle. Um, I'm deal breakers. Children's not a deal breaker, but I would say maybe no more than maybe one or two. Um, just to be fair, and um, someone who's just genuinely ready to love, someone who's ready to, you know, um, basically, like I said, sacrifice. That's big for me because I'm noticing 
in life that you can't get nowhere without that. Okay. So. Should he look a certain way? Um, no. At 34, um, I don't feel like I need to be as judgmental as I used to be when I was younger. Um, I'm more open minded, I'm more accepting. Um, I'm more vulnerable. I understand that no one's perfect. So no ma'am. No ma'am. Okay. Uh what about money? So you make a certain amount of money? Right now, I'm on target about seventy-five thousand in my city. So I don't have a set amount, but for me, I'm able to afford my house, my car, my dog, my own lifestyle. So someone who is able to, to match me in that area, if that makes sense. Okay. Uh, what's the age range you would date, Brittany? You're 34. Okay. So usually I don't date anybody younger than me, but because I feel like 30 is different from obviously 20, 21, whatever, I would say at least 30 to maybe 40. Okay, 30 to 40. Let's do the Kendra Cam. All right. Got you, girl. Hold on. I got the selfie stick, but hold on. Let me pull it all the way up, though. So average, you know, I got a little something, something. I, I know that I could do better, but this is where I'm at. Take me or leave me. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, Brittany, what was your last relationship? Honestly speaking, it was last September. Okay. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When was the last time you was intimate with someone? Last September. Okay. Three flaws you have to work on. Um, let's see. I feel like I need to be less critical of myself. Um, I need to be, um, let's see. That's a good question, Kendra. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm gonna read. I'm gonna direct it back to me. I feel like I need to be. Um, that's a good question. There was one flaw. I got two more. Let me see. I feel like I need to put myself first. I feel like that I should have more boundaries. Okay. Um, and why would a guy be lucky to be with you? I was raised in a household where it was either black or white, black or white, excuse me. Um, I keep it real. I always speak my mind, but I have a heart of gold. Um, so I feel like when you when you see me, when you get me, you get what you get. But also you're going to get love, but then you're going to get a little bit of everything. It's going to be some form of a balance. Absolutely. OK, we got a question for you. You want it? Yeah, of course. Let's go. Okay. Logical Faith said, men are generally expected to sacrifice more than women. First financially, then we're expected to risk our lives to protect women at a moment's notice. How are you planning to match that level of sacrifice? Well, I guess to me would be dying to myself. The things that I know that I personally struggle with is getting rid of that, masking that. So then when I meet somebody... I can, um, they won't have to deal with it or, you know, more likely, I know how to just deal with certain situations because of me sacrificing. Basically, it's like I said, dying to myself, to the things that I struggle with on a daily basis that people don't know anything about, the things that, the thoughts that are in your head that only you and God know, that type of stuff. Okay, fair enough. All right, and why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Did I ask you that question? I don't know if you did, but we can answer it again, Kendra. Come on. So what, let's what say I'm like the bomb.com. <laughs> um, I don't want to harp on this, but I mean, I'm a Scorpio for whatever that means to somebody. But 
at the end of the day, I feel like I know both sides of the coin. I mean, I still have things to work on, but I have a lot to offer. And I can confidently say that. So be it. Okay. Okay. Um, I have another one for you, I think. Okay. What you got for me, hey? <laughs> the sharp silver fox said, those were not flaws. That were They were self-fulfilling. Flaws are like, I struggle with accountability. Make sense. Oh, well, I mean, accountability could, is one of a flaw, but I feel like what I said was for me speaking from the heart and I can't retract that. I can't, you know, regurgitate that. The it is what it is. So those who understand will understand. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Could the guy have kids? I've date my last relationship in September. He did have a child. So I'm open with men with having children. But like I said, I would like to keep it at two one to zero <laughs> that would be zero. better for me Do you want to yeah. yourself? possibly if it's in god's will but if it's not honey i'm going to enjoy my life the best way i know how okay we got another one what okay let's go pookie said kendra's not going to say it but i will some of you need to take what you can get she doesn't have any business being picky I didn't feel like I was picky. I was feel like I was being fair. I don't know what I said that was picky, but like I said, those who have an ear will hear. That's it. Okay. And there you have it. All right, let's do it. We're done with the questions for Brittany. Brittany, Indianapolis, 34, Scorpio, um, works for the Army, no kids, be 30 to 40 is the age range. Should he be in Indianapolis? No, I'm willing to travel. I got my passport. I got some money in the bank. Hit me up, y'all. I'm ready. I just came back from Tampa about a week and a half ago. You know, wherever God tells me, I'm going. Let's go. You want to move? Let's move. You ready to leave the United States? Let's go. I'm open to that, too. Okay, okay. All right, well, let's do it. How can he reach out to you, boo? Um, Instagram is popping right now for me. So I would say... um. Hit me up on there. So that's so underscore bam bam. So underscore bam bam. Yep, that's that's me. My page is open. You can hit me up. You can stop by. You don't have to say nothing, but that's me. And that's her. All right, let's do it. Brittany, keep me posted how it goes, love. Definitely, Kendra. Thank you so much for your time, love. You're welcome. Bye, baby. Um, Bye. I, I do want to say this. I do want to say this. I think, I know that Pookie made that statement. He said it to Brittany, but I think that statement also applies to men. I really do. I think, granted, granted, we hear women that sometimes request people that most people might say is out of their league, but men do the same. And honestly, honestly, because men have so much quantity, I, I, I can tell you the depth. Men definitely have more quantity options at times than women. Whenever I get a guy worth his salt on this show, he gets a lot of people that reach out to him. But at the same time, if he ends up still single, then that means he still has to pick within his realm too. So I know we like to always focus on the women, and I get it. Even when I post men, the women videos get more reviews. And I'm not even going to say that some of the things that people say aren't correct. My only question is this, if a guy is everything and you got all the options in the world, then why are you single? Because you tell us you got all the options, the world is yours, you're the king of this, why are you single? Because a man that has all that should never be single, correct? Maybe the bottom line is you have a lot of quantity options, but maybe not always the quality that you deserve or desire, I should say, desire. No, just like women, you're getting what you deserve too. So we always wanna put all the energy on the things women could do better. And I'm not gonna walk away from that. There are things women can do better, but we gotta start men talking about you too. Let's keep going. Um, do I have any men? I don't know if I do. All right. Let's try Mar Marcy. Marcy, show me the room. Show me the room, Marcy. Okay. Hello? Hi. Wait, hi. hi. Marcy, where are you calling me from? Dallas. 
Dallas. And I've been watching for so long. This is my first time ever having the courage to actually try to come on. And I got picked. Okay. Great. You got picked. Okay, let's do it. You got a bubbly personality. I can feel it already. How old are you, Marcy? I'm 26. 26. What you do for a living? I'm a business analyst in corporate America and I'm also in the reserves. Say it again. Business analyst. And I'm, I'm in the Army Reserves. Okay, they're saying she's pretty. Oh, uh, thank y'all. All right, and what's your zodiac sign? I'm a Scorpio, but I don't, I don't, I don't really believe in that. But I'm a Scorpio. Okay, I, I respect it. Do you have any children? Nope. No kids. All right, so we got. Have you ever been married? No. <laughs> All right, so we got Marcy, 26, no kids, never married, a business analyst, also in the Army Reserves, and they're saying she's pretty. What kind of man are you looking for? Um, I'm looking for a man of God, not just a Christian man, but a man of God, someone that's actually walking with Christ and they go to Christ. Um, looking for a calm man, a gentle man, a sweet man, um, a provider in the sense that I will feel safe with him, not in the sense that he has to pay all my bills because bills are paid. Um, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Okay. Okay. Um, what are your deal breakers? Deal breaker is someone that's like quick to be angry. I don't really do attitudes. I don't do sass. I don't do any of that. If y'all know how to communicate, I can't do that. Um, other deal breaker, I don't really want anyone with kids. I don't have kids. But I mean, if you're the total package, like one may do, but I don't, I don't really want to, I don't want that. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay. Okay. Um, should he look a certain way? No, nah, he just needs to be handsome. Like, just make sure it makes sense. <laughs> like, he just needs to be handsome. Make sure he said, make it make sense. Just make um, sense. It's like, just if you know you're a handsome man. <laughs> oh, look, they, they say at times, um, I've heard this. Look at me, then look at you, and does it make sense? Does it make sense? That's what I meant. I don't want to, you know. <laughs> but yes, like just make sure it makes sense. I do want someone that is like on the taller side. Like I'm five four, so like I would prefer someone that's six feet or you're over. But I won't like block like five ten. I won't block that though. Like five ten, five eleven. I won't block that. But how tall are you? I'm five four. Okay, you're five four. Should he make a certain amount of money? Um, no. But I live in Dallas, so I feel like. 80 is what you need to make sure your bills are paid. So 80 is what you need in Dallas. Okay, Dallas. Um, um I travel. Like, I mean, you just, we have to match. So if I make over 80, you can make 80. Okay. So nothing less than what you make. Correct. Exactly. Like, we just need to match. Okay. At least 80. All right. Let's do the Kendra cam. Oh, all right. Let me my little chair. Can you see me good? Okay, yes, I think we can. Move over to the middle. Yeah, we can see you. Ooh, ooh, turn around on her. We can see you, boo. Okay. So we got Marcy, 26, no kids, um, never married, business analyst, and works for the Army Reserves. When was your last relationship? My last relationship was last year. Uh, we broke up around like September, maybe. Okay. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When was the last time you was intimate with someone? I'm not answering, <laughs> but it, it was, you know, but I just, I'm not. <laughs> okay. Three flaws you have to work on. Um, I can work on being a little more like vulnerable. Um, my sister said, I think I know everything. So I've been working on that. <laughs> um, and I think that when it comes to dating, like sometimes I give people wacky material that don't really deserve it. So I'm working on it too. So okay. look down as flaws. They said the last girl fly didn't count. <laughs> Did that count? Okay. And um, did you tell me your, okay. You told me the last time you was intimate with somebody? No, I declined to. Okay, okay. Why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Um, I don't know. I think that, like, my heart, like, I'm just a good person. I don't, you know, I don't do anything to anybody. I go to work. I come home. Like, I take care of myself. I was raised right. I mean, I just think that any guy would be lucky to be with me. But, you know, it's a good time to be alive, so. 
So that's just a good time over there. Do you want more kids? Well, do you want kids, period? You don't have any kids. Yeah, no, I want kids. I want married. Okay. And what's the age range you would date? You're 26. Like 25 to 35. And should he be in Dallas already? I would prefer it, but if he's not, nobody from like Africa, like in this country, <laughs> but um, I would prefer somebody that is in Dallas or close or, you know, can just, or has a desire to live in Dallas. I would prefer it. Prefer. Okay. Let's do it. We got Maria Dallas, make um, at least 80K. She makes 80K. She's 26, a business analyst, Army Reserves. Could the guy have kids? I can't remember. I would prefer not. Uh, have no kids. I would prefer not, yeah. If you're okay. the one, I may deal with it, but or not deal with it, but you know, I may be okay with that, but I would prefer no kids. Okay, let's do it. How can the guy reach out to you? My Instagram, um, it's I-T-S-S-C-H-E-L-L-A. So it's Shella with two S's. Okay. All right, boo, will you keep me posted how it goes? I will. Thank you, Kendra. You're welcome. Bye, baby. All right. Let's keep going. Um, Rebecca, show me the room and turn on the lights. You're going to need light, Rebecca. You ready? Turn the music off. Ah! <laughs> Rebecca, where are you calling me from? Hey, I can't hear you at all. Okay, hold on. I know why. Can you hear me now? Yeah, this is so much better. Rebecca, where you live, babe? Where you calling us from? Um, Georgia, Atlanta area. Georgia, Atlanta area. How old are you? 34. 34. What you do for a living? I'm a flight attendant. Flight attendant. You have any children? I have two boys. Two boys. How old are your boys? 10 and 7. 10 and 7. Both by the same man? Yes. Have you ever been married? Yes. They were by my ex-husband. When did you get divorced? Uh, 2018. Okay. Um, you want to share why? You don't have to if you don't want to. Um, we were college sweethearts, but it was a lot of infidelity. And by the time we got out of college, I had to move on and level up to what I really wanted okay. in life. Not necessarily a relationship, but in life. Okay. So we have Rebecca, Georgia, Atlanta, <laughs> area. Huh? Nervous. <laughs> we got Rebecca, Georgia, Atlanta, area, 34, flight attendant, mom of two boys. Was once married. What's your zodiac sign? I'm a cancer. Cancer. All right, boo. What kind of man you looking for? A good man. Um, <laughs> I'm big on humor. I like somebody who has a good sense of humor, who's respectful, open-minded. You know, can understand and take all kind of people to make the world go round. Um, family-oriented, likes to have fun, but not in the street all the time. And really, the main thing why I'm single is somebody I feel like is going to be a role model for my kids. So I'm not going to bring in a man around that I don't want them to emulate to some degree. Okay, okay. Uh, what are your deal breakers? Infidelity. Oh, sorry. Infidelity. I, when we're dating, you date who you want until we're exclusive. That's fine. But if we're exclusive, that's it. I'm monogamous. Um, hygiene. I'm big on hygiene. Like, what you smell like? Do you keep yourself clean? Your teeth not brown? I know everybody ain't got pearly whites, but let's keep brown away. Uh, <laughs> and just dry. I don't like dry people who just can't get along. Okay. So you look a certain way? Um, clean. <laughs> Facial features in proportion. Um, if your hairline ain't right, shave it off, commit to a hairstyle. <laughs> I'm 34. I prefer to date men my age or up to 45. So 
I don't really want to go on the hair journey with no man right now, you know, or they want to start growing locks or start the baby dreads, the, 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 the braids with no hang. I'm no offense. I don't know how to do hair. So I just, I'm not going to be able to help you with that. So yeah. Have you dated a guy? I never heard this before. Have you dated a guy going through that? I live in Atlanta. So they all going through something. <laughs> and I know you've seen the two pays now that men wear. I just feel like be you. Commit to who you are and be happy and confident in that. That's another big thing, confidence. Um, the guys I do meet, I think are always surprised that I'm single and assume that a lot of men approach me and that's not the case. And I think it's because they are looking, thinking that that is so many options to sit. It is dry here. <laughs> okay. Um, do he gotta make a certain amount of money? He has to be comfortable with his lifestyle, his own level of success, you know, make a good living so he can support himself and also can afford to date. But I mean, we always we have time to grow and build together. So Okay. Let's do the Kendra Cam. I'm sweating now too, y'all. Don't come for me. Okay. And for him. It's kind of dark, but we can, we saw oh. the booty when you turn. Oh. Okay. My closet fell apart, and I'm waiting on the handyman. Okay. I like handy also. Say what? I like men that are handy also. Come help me you, fix it. Okay, man, be able to fix some things. Mm -hmm. Rebecca, Georgia, Atlanta area, 34 is a cancer flight attendant. Mine two boys, 10 and 7, by her ex-husband, right? Your boys are by your ex-husband. When was your last relationship? My ex-husband. And then when did you get divorced? 2018. 2018. Okay. Well, that's six years ago? Yep. I've been on that, but no relationship since then. Been focusing on my kids' career. Just being a better me. Okay. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Two years ago. Two years ago. Okay. Are you on a celibacy journey? Um... Not particularly. It's just like I said, I haven't been in a committed relationship since my marriage. And it's just draining to be having sex with someone you're not committed to and sharing that energy. So I just decided until I'm serious with someone, I'll just rest wait. Okay. We got some questions for you. All right. Kay said, wait, why ain't the kids dad their role model? Are you blocking their father's birthright? Why put that on another man? Well, they see their father regularly. He has his weekends. However, if I have a serious man in my life, he'll probably be around more. And as the woman in their life, I feel like I'm setting an example for the type of men that they're going to want to be like. And then regardless, their father is not going to be their only role model. Nobody's parents are their only role models. So I just want to make sure I have a, you know, a good man around. Okay. L double I said, do you want more children? Yes, with my husband. What's your husband? My so you want to get married again? Right? Yes, ma'am. Yep. Uh, yes, ma'am. All right. <laughs> so you don't have to answer. Oh, you told me two years ago. Brief laws we have to work on. So um, I don't like to argue. I tend to avoid conflict, but it's becoming apparent that it's really because I kind of have a temper. Like if I feel like you trying me, it's going to go from this to me popping off. So I got to work on that because I don't like, I don't want to be triggered or so easily controlled by people's actions. Um, I'm a serial multitasker and while that's good, it kind of keeps you from being able to really focus on one thing at a time. So I really got to work on that. Not trying to multitask everything because i like to like read a book and watch tv <laughs> okay read um, a book. three i'm trying to think something not superficial i would say staying away from carbs but that ain't enough uh third flaw i can come off nonchalant when i'm dating and i think honestly it's because i am very sensitive and emotional i try not to lead with that so I'll hold back a little bit and the other person might get the feeling that I'm just not that interested, but I'm just trying to take my time to react, but not leading with the most being vulnerable, 
not so nonchalant. <laughs> okay, okay. So we got Rebecca, um, Georgia, Atlanta area, 34. What's the age range you would date? Um, you asked me that. I uh, said, I'm going to be, let me tell you that, though, because I said 34 to 45, at least 30. Okay. I'm mature and they're younger than me, but. Okay. Um, did I ask you if he has to be in Atlanta? I did, right? Doesn't in Atlanta. Like, I travel for work, so that's. Okay. And I don't think I asked you the last question. Why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Because I'm loving, I'm loyal. I'm the kind of person that I like to like pay very close attention to the people I'm with so that I know how to cater to you. Um, I'm big on accountability. I have no problem with being wrong. So if there's an issue that you want to bring up, I'm like, I'm willing to listen. I do talk a lot, but I like to conversate. <laughs> um, I don't know. Like, I feel like I'm a team player. You know, I'm going to do what it takes to make our team work. Everybody play their position. I'm big on gender roles for the people who like that. You no. Know, I think of myself as a lady. I cook, I clean, I decorate. I'm affectionate. I don't know. All the moms love me. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, let's do it. We got Rebecca, Georgia, Atlanta area, 34. Cancer, flight attendant, mom of two boys. How could the guy reach out to you, boo? So I put it right there on the screen. That's my IG, Rebecca at Too Good To Lose on Instagram. Yeah. Rebecca at Too Good To Lose. All right, baby girl, will you keep me posted how it goes, honey? Thank you. And I, thank you so much. I'm so glad I came on here. I almost didn't because I was scared of them comments. But I thank you. I love your platform and everything you do. And I hope I can update you with. So. I hope you do too. <laughs> Give me, keep me posted, boo. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. All right, bye, baby girl. All right, let's get somebody else. I don't think I see any more. Well, I, I got to be able to see your face. I see Greg's name, but I got to see your face. Is it Abigail? Abigail, Dominique, show me the room, Dominique. Show me the room. Okay, Dominique, you got to buy it. Girl, you got to buy it on your head. I do. <laughs> Sorry. You got it right. Is that better? No. Go like you want the light to be in your face. Okay. There we go. Okay, this works. All right. Is your name Dominique Love? Yes. Dominique, where are you calling me from? Um, North Carolina and Spring Lake. And Spring Lake. How old are you? I'm 33. I just turned 33 Sunday. Sorry. Okay. Happy birthday. You're Aries. Yes. Okay. What you do for a living, Dominique? Um, I cook from home. I sell food from home. I love to cook. So I'm starting my business from home. Okay. Do you have any kids? I have two boys. How old are your two boys? Um, two and five. Both by the same man? Um, no, not by the same man. Okay. Why are you not with the two-year-old dad? Um, that's actually him on my wall. He passed two years ago, so. Oh, did he pass while you were pregnant? Um, after I had my, our son, our son was six months old, so. What happened? Do you want to share? You don't have to share. Um, no, I don't want to share. We'll keep it going. Well, sorry for your loss, honey. Sorry for your loss. Um, Okay, let's keep going. Dominique, North Carolina, Spring Lake, you said? Yes. Okay, she sells food from home. Mine are two boys, two and five. 33 is the Aries. What kind of man are you looking for now, baby girl? Um, honest, um, hardworking, like, um, a good person, like someone that's good with children, like my children doesn't have anyone. So I want you to be able to deal with my kids. Like um, they're always a part of me. So where I come, I guess kids go with me. So um, I say honest, <laughs> I'm nervous. Um, <laughs> um, just very, open open to try things do things stuff like that 
Okay, what are your deal breakers? Cheating, lying, um, drugs. Um, if you in the streets, I don't want it. I got boys. It's hard enough for these black men out here. Um, just if you don't have the time, just be honest with me. Just let me know what's real and I'll be real with you. Okay. Um, should he look a certain way? No, I wouldn't. You just have yourself together. I don't like sloppy. It's just, <laughs> I'm a big girl, so it's already hot over here. <laughs> So, so just just have yourself together. Okay. Well, what about money? So you make a certain amount of money? I wouldn't say so. Just just be able to provide for yourself. You know. Okay. I, I ain't got time to be raising nobody. I'm raising my own. So just just come with your own. I'm not okay. asking you for nothing. Don't 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 be asking me for nothing. Just ask me for nothing. So don't you ask her for anything. All right. Um, let's do the Kendra cam. Okay. Make sure the light so, is not blacking you out. So you gotta face the light. Okay. Okay. Oh, you got a half shirt. Okay. All right. Turn around on him. So we got Dominique, North Carolina. Should the guy be in North Carolina? Um, I wouldn't. Not necessarily, but not too far away. Okay. Um, the surrounding areas. When was your last relationship? My son's father. Okay. So it was um, two years. Right. Um, again, sorry for your loss. Her son father, her last son father passed away. When was the last time you was intimate with someone? You don't have to answer. Um, it's been months. <laughs> okay. About eight or nine months. <laughs> okay. Three flaws you have to work on. Make sure you, the light is in your face. Okay, three um, flaws you have to work on. Three flaws. Being more open and talking to people more. And like this, this is a first for me. I didn't think I would. You would pick me. <laughs> so, um, Trying to trust people more. Um, hmm, I need another flaw. Oh, I procrastinate a lot. I'm a procrastinator, I guess. So stop procrastinating. Stop procrastinating. Okay. And why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Um, I cook. I clean. I take care of my children. I work, I do, I, I don't, I, I do it all on my own. I, I just, just want some company, you know? Everybody just wants some company. Okay, she just wants some company. Um, did you give me the age range, you're 33? Um, I guess from about 30 to about 40, okay. five-ish maybe. Should the guy be in North Carolina? No, not necessarily. Okay. All right, um, I got some questions for you. Let me see. Um, um, oh, smoke detector beep is undefeated. I'm going. I'm going with a battle with my landlord. So <laughs> that's another subject. Are you sure <laughs> the landlord's not changing your smoke detector? Yes. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, I do. The elect lady, Miss A, said, don't be in a rush to have men around your boys. I'm not. See, I'm not. And I haven't. My my oldest, only only man he's ever seen is his brother's father. And he's five. So it ain't no rush to have nobody around my kids. I, I simply want somebody for me. You, it, But I'm a package deal. I got kids. So if, if I, where I come, my kids come with me. So I ain't in a rush to have nobody around my kids. Not okay. at all. And there you have it. Did I ask you how the guy can reach out to you, Dominique? Um, you can reach out to me on Instagram, um, Chaco Neek69, or uh, Facebook, uh, Dominique Holmes. Spell it for the Facebook. Well, spell both of you. Oh. I'm gonna find you easy. The Instagram is C-H-O-C-O-N-I-Q-U-E-69. 
Say one more time. C H O C O N I Q U E six nine for Instagram and Facebook. Uh, D O M I N I Q U E H O L M E S. And there you have it. All right, baby girl, keep me posted how it goes. Well, thank you. You are such a lovely person. Thank you. Thank you. All right, bye, baby. Okay. Oh, I see. Do I have any men? I don't have any men. Melanie. Oh, we do have a guy. Polly. Polly, show me the room, Polly. Let me try to get this guy first. Show me the other side of the room. Show me the other side. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, make sure the light is not blaring. The, the light is blaring you out. How I get, what I got to do? Okay, that's better. You want to face the light. So what I've been trying to tell people, like, the bathroom light is the best. The bathroom light. I got a light. Hold on. My bad. It's better? That's way better. Okay, this is, yeah, that ring light. That's what I be trying to tell y'all. The light, coming to the lights. What's your name, uh, love? My name, H. Everybody call you H. H. That's Polly. That was my, my Facebook name. Okay, just call you H? Yep. H, where are you calling me from? Philly. Philly, how old are you? 36. 36, what you do for a living? I'm in transportation. Transportation. Yep. Do you have any kids? Yep, I have one. How old's your child? Uh, two. Well, going on two. Going on two. Why are you not with the mother? Uh, things didn't just, just didn't work out. Were you married? Nah. What happened? What was the final straw? Uh, just, just I don't know. People grow apart. You know how that go. Okay. What's your zodiac sign? Uh, I don't really get into signs like that, but uh, Libra. But okay, if you don't want to get into it, that's fine. Yep. So we got H Philly 36. You work in transportation? Yep. One child that's almost two, never married. Um, what kind of woman are you looking for? Uh I would say somebody that's just nice, down to earth, uh somebody you can bring home to your mom, and just somebody that got a good good uh moral compass, somebody that's just cool and that you can trust. Okay. What are your yeah. deal breakers? Uh, my deal breakers are people that's like full of like controversy to keep something going. Uh, like a lot of drama, headaches. You know, nobody really want to deal with that. Like, just want to vibe and, and have a good life. Okay. Yeah. Um, should she look a certain way? No, as, as long as as long as I like her, that's cool. But I would say, like, uh, as long as she look respectable, like, like she don't look too crazy and don't, like, she, it's about how she carry herself, for real, for real. Okay. Yeah. What about money? Should she make a certain amount of money? No, no. Uh, guys really, I don't, I don't really see guys really care about that like that. Because nine times out of ten, you, like, guys, you won't be going to pay for a lot of stuff. So, it, her money don't really matter like that. It do matter, but. A guys, I don't know. Most guys I know, we don't look at it like that. We just like the person. Okay. Let's yeah. do the Kendra cam. That's cool. Can we see your legs? Uh, you can lay, see your legs. Okay, we see. Uh, <laughs> do you want more kids? Uh, I guess one day. Who knows? Who knows? It's kind of scary out here, to be honest with you, Kendra. Why you say scary. that? Uh, just people doing things for the wrong reason, and once you attach to somebody, that's it for life. So you gotta choose wisely. You okay. don't never know how that's gonna play out. So you don't really want to be at nobody's mercy like that. Oh. So okay, yeah. is that how you feel with your child, your first, your baby mama? Uh, you just feel like that with anybody, because normally when you just talking to a girl, if things don't work out, that's it. You don't never gotta hear from her ever again. So that's a big difference. Fair enough. Okay. Yeah. Could the woman have kids? Uh, I mean, it really depends on the situation. It really depends. Like, 
it if 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 her life is everything is cool and everything, yeah. But if it's a lot of chaos and you just feel out of place when you're around her kids or you're around her or whatever, no, nah, it really is it's a lot of nuance to that that conversation. But anything is possible. If somebody a wonderful woman, anything is possible. But it's up to the person. It's up to the person. Yeah. Okay. She can have one eye. She can have one eye, but if she's a wonderful person, at it outweigh that one eye. So I mean. That's just how it go. That's just how it go. You want her to be in Philly? Uh, I don't know. It don't really matter to be honest with you. It, I, I mean, if she lives somewhere else, you'll just be meeting somebody that's from a different environment. So, who knows what they expect out of that situation? So, I'm open to anything. Okay. And what's the age range? You're 36. Uh, I don't stop really moving think. if you can't age. You're moving a lot. Try to stay. Sorry, safe. sorry about that. Uh. There's no real. And look at us, H. You be looking around everywhere. Look at I know. I'm from Philly. You gotta keep your head on the swivel, even in the house. <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, seriously, I don't really have no no specific age range. I just, as long as I'm attracted to her, and yeah, I'm, I probably wouldn't take nobody that's much older than me or nothing like that, though, because you already lived your life already, and it's not too much I can really show you. Okay. And I've noticed. I noticed that women usually they like guys that showing them new things, and it's harder to show somebody something new that did everything already. Okay, fair enough. So, um, you don't have an age range? Not really, no. Okay. Did I ask you the last time your your last relationship? Uh, no, you didn't. Okay. Uh, a couple years ago. All right. You don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask. When was the last time you was intimate with someone? I'd rather decline. Okay. Three flaws you have to work on. Three flaws I have to work on. I would say uh, I got a, I'm, 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 I'm a very like laid back person. So people don't really take me seriously sometimes because I'm not like a dramatic person. So it might come off sometimes that I'm insensitive or I don't care just because I'm just not an animated person. So that's one of my flaws, I guess. I gotta start showing that that side of myself. And uh, another flaw is, I would say, uh, I, I'm hard on myself. Like I don't, until I accomplish things I want to accomplish, I put everything else to the side sometimes. And sometimes I need to do more things for myself than focus on things I need to do all the time. Okay. And okay. It's not a flaw, but it's a flaw too, because sometimes you gotta live your life more too. And another flaw is uh I wouldn't say it's a flaw, but I'm more, I, I'm a risk taker. Like I'm not it's not a flaw really. It's just sometimes it's a process of certain things. Like I'm not a person that that just gets comfortable with certain things. I always want more, so I'm gonna. I, I, I'm I'm never really satisfied. So it's not a it's a flaw, but it ain't. But I don't know. It gets me it gets me jammed up sometimes because I take risks. Yeah. So. Okay. That's about so you say it. you're never satisfied. No, nah, like as far as with things I'm trying to do in life. So I don't know. I just got a, a hustler's mentality. So. Uh, how can I explain it? Like. Um, I don't know. I just it's, it's really much the same flaw. Like, I'm just really hard on myself, so I always feel like I, I need to do more and instead of ex being happy with what I have. Sometimes. Okay. And why would a woman be lucky to be with you? Uh, because I'm I'm cool, funny, understanding, laid back. Uh, and I don't know. I, I know a few things about a few things, so. I'm, I'm a cool person to be around and I'm a good person at the end of the day. Like I ain't, you ain't got to worry about me leaving you on the side of the road or me calling you B's and C's and D's or none of that type stuff. I'm just a cool dude. So I'm respectful. And at the end of the day, I'm somebody, y your mom gonna like me. So at the end of the day, that, that goes for something. That goes for something. Let's do it. Age 36, uh, works in transportation. Now you don't have to say, 
what it is. But you know they've been guessing in the comments. They said Lyft. They said Uber. Nothing wrong with it if that's true. But they've been trying to figure out what you do with transportation. Oh, I, I work with disabled kids. And I get them uh, to and from school. And there's a lot to that. But if you now, want to find out more. feel like crap? All huh? you ladies that was in the comments say, oh, he's an Uber driver. Oh, he's a Lyft driver. Now you should feel like crap. He actually drives for disabled children. Yeah, but they don't care. At the end of the day, I got a couple of dollars too. So that's what they care about. That's all they want to care about. So that's, that's they all they about. care about. They don't care what I do for real, for real. Okay. As long as I got some money to, sh to take them somewhere and do some things, that's all they care about. So that's all you need to know. All right, he got the money to take you somewhere. All right, the woman can have a child. It's a case by case scenario. He has a two year old. Do you want to get married one day? She had to be a hell of a woman. I ain't gonna lie to you, cause like for you to to that's a hell of a risk. So I mean, it's somebody out here, but it ain't like how it used to be. But I mean, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Okay, we yeah. got some um, um, questions for you. Go for it, Miss Miss Woody Miss Woody Reed says, "Was that you driving the car on the movie Friday to get the bike back?" Transportation, yep. you say? I'm kidding. That's my grandpa. Um, oh, do Ray. Um, this one is: there are many beautiful single and professional women in Philly making it a great place to find love. You ain't got no business on this show if you're in Philly. No, it's a real beautiful woman out here, but it's it's a little rough. And I don't get outside as much as I used to. So you got to do okay. what you got to do sometimes. You got to do what you got to do. No worries. Don't worry. Listen to Pookie. His name is Pookie. All right. Um, how come I'm going to reach out to you? I'm on Instagram. It's hmugga215. H-M-U-G-G-A-215. Spell it. Can you spell it for the people? Yeah, H M U G G A two one five. And there you have it. Keep me posted how it goes, babe. Thank you, baby. Talk to you later. Bye. All right. Um, there was a question I did see earlier, but I've been so focused on doing the show. Uh, Pookie again. Pookie said this earlier. If I make sixty and you make eighty, that's one hundred and forty, which is still more than eighty. Why not just add to what you already earn versus him needing to match or earn more? That was something earlier. The girl who says she made 80, so she doesn't want a person to make less than 80. I mean, I think I, I listen, listen, listen. Now, in this case, I'm going to agree with Pookie. Now, again, dating is case by case situations, all right? And you got to learn your case situation dating is an individual thing it is not one blank not every black woman going to date the same not every white woman going to date the same it is an individual thing yes there are some women that will get men that make way more than them it may not even have to go to work or don't want to work you know that might just be the reality and then there might be some women that might make more than their man but they come together like pookie and that's not a bad deal either because in both scenarios they have companionship. They have happiness. So you got to figure it out for yourself. But I will say, most women on my show that call me up, they don't want that. They want you to make more or the same. <laughs> but that math does add up, Pookie. Uh, now that one, I actually agree with you. Um, but hey, I don't feel like I don't feel like I, I'm in a happy space. I have come to terms. It's your life, girlfriend. It's your life. All I can do is share with you the data. You can take the data and take it and leave it, but at the end of the day, it is your life. So you got to do it as you please. Um, let's see. I got some guys, lady, but let's get Melanie first. Melanie, show me the room. All right. Hello? Hi. Hi. How old are you? I'm 24. 24. Where are you calling us from? Ohio. Ohio. What you do for a living? I work two jobs. I write books. I do music and I do hair. You write books and what else? I do music. I do hair, and I work two See, jobs. That's not the. Those aren't. That was three jobs. There's two more outside of these. Three. I work. Yeah, I work two. I work two like nine to fives, and then I do hair. I do music, and I write books. 
What do you do for your nine to fives? I work at a nursing home, so STNA, and then I do like a store. Okay. Now, music, do you sing? Oh, Melanie, we can't see you. Hello? 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 Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got a call. I just put it on Do Not Disturb, though. Yeah, can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, I got a call. I just put it on Do Not Disturb, though. Okay, okay. Music store, um, write books. Oh, music. Do you sing? Yes. You want to give us 20 seconds? Okay. <clears throat> okay. Um... Okay, um, see, I don't know what happened. I was a bachelor, so I met this little shorty, and he got me so in love. And it took me by surprise when I looked him in his eyes, and I could see our future hidden in disguise. Cause when we first met, I thought it was gonna be a fling, but we gonna be forever, boy. I'll treat you like a king, and I give you the world. Just come walk with me, boy. And baby boy, I'm gonna give you, give you what you gonna need. That trust and loyalty. Okay, okay. Okay, you got 17,000 jobs, girl. <laughs> I gotta kids? stay busy. I gotta stay busy. My mind be like racing, so I gotta stay busy. Okay, do you have any children? No, no kids. No kids. We heard kids in the background. Whose kids are those? Those are my nieces. Okay. Um. And what's your zodiac sign? I'm an Aries. Aries. All right. So is it Melanie? Am I saying it right? Mm hmm So it's Melanie, 24 Aries, No Kids, Ohio. She has two nine to fives, writes books, music, and does hair. Yeah. All right. So what kind of man are you looking for, girl? Um, someone that's fun and spontaneous and creative and loving. Someone who's really loving because I like to cuddle and stuff. So I need somebody like that. Okay. What are yeah. your deal breakers? Um, just no, really. Just don't lie. That's all. Don't lie? Don't lie. Mm -mm. Okay. Um, should he look a certain way? Mm, I can tell you what I don't want. I can't tell you what I do want. Like, he don't gotta look a certain um, he don't gotta look a certain way, you know. It just depends okay. on how they come off when you come. Depends on how he comes off. Okay. What about money? Should he make a certain amount of money? No. No? Okay. Mm -mm. Um, see, you see pretty easy on this one. Let's do the Kendra can, Melanie. Oh, okay. <laughs> um. Oh, you're very cute. You have a good shape. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> Melanie, what's the age range you would date? You're 24. Um, um, I don't, I don't know. Not just not old, not too old, not old. Okay. So not, not, not 20, not 30. Not 30. Okay. So between 24 and 29. Yep. Okay. Could he have kids already? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you want kids one day? One day, yeah. Okay. Uh, when was your last relationship, love? A year ago. A year ago. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When was the last time you was in with someone? Last month. Oh, when was you in last month, girl? Um, huh? Is that guy an option? No. Why not? Because just no. Just no. Okay, okay. Okay. Um, what are three flaws you have to work on? Um, I talk too much, like I don't watch what I say. Um I have to control like my temper and uh I gotta um make time. Make time. Yeah, because yeah. you, you work a lot. 
Yeah. Why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Because I'm fun. Um, I'm goofy. Um, I like simple things like you don't gotta be too extravagant. I'm very loving and nurturing and I like to push people to be the best they can be. And there you have it. We got Melanie 24, Ohio, no kids, um, nine to five, does music, writes books, does hair, and she will date 24 to 29. Yeah. <laughs> okay, boo. Um, how can the guy reach out to you, sweetheart? Um, underscore Melanie Love on Instagram. Um, that's it. Melanie Love is everything for me. Melanie Love. Melanie Love. Yeah. All right, boo, you keep me posted how it goes, baby girl. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, let's try. I had a guy, Thomas. You ready? Show me the room, Thomas. Okay. You ready? Uh, I think so. What's up? Okay, is your first time here? Yes, this is my first time here. Okay, Thomas, where you call me from, love? Uh, I'm in the burbs of Chicago. Okay, Chicago. How old are you? I'm 31. 31, what you do for a living? I'm an event manager. Event manager. Do you have any kids? No. No kids. Um, what's your zodiac sign? I'm a Leo. A Leo. So we got Tom in Chicago, 31 Leo, event manager, no kids. What kind of woman are you looking for, Thomas? I'm actually looking for a man. My bad, Kendra. I know you was looking for the ladies. I heard, I heard you when you said, oh, I got some guys in here for y'all. But yeah, no, I'm looking for a man. He don't want no vagina. Sorry. I'm a gold star. No ah, vagina. Not no worries. What kind of man are you looking for? Um, I'm looking for somebody that is a good communicator, somebody that is like ambitious that wants to you know grow and wants to you know live life and explore things together okay what are your deal breakers um deal breakers would be just somebody who really isn't living in their truth like somebody who isn't very honest or forthcoming like with you know the things that you know are going on with them and uh just you know somebody who isn't good at communicating somebody who doesn't really know what they want but they have an idea but they it might not be what they actually really want so i just want somebody who really is focused on what they actually want in their life okay um should he look a certain way um i i'm i'm six foot so i would like somebody that's like six foot like at least my height um you want somebody the same height as you yeah, at least, yeah, yeah. I prefer that. I mean, I, I date a guy shorter than me, nothing serious, but I mean, like, I've I've dated a guy shorter than me, I've dated guys taller than me. I would prefer somebody that's like my height or taller, essentially, yeah. Okay, uh, what about money? Should he make a certain amount of money? Uh, I'm uh, reasonably 60K or more, yeah, okay. I would say. All right, should he be in Chicago? Uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, if he's not in Chicago, um, then he could be in California or in Texas. Okay. Let's do the Kendra cam. All right. All right, let's see you. All right. All right. I don't think I look that bad. Did you give me your age range? What's the age range you want to date? Uh, 25 to 45. 25 to 45. Okay. Yeah. Thomas, what was your last relationship? Um, Shit, I was 23, so like what, like almost a decade ago, like eight years ago. Really? Okay. Yeah. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask, when's the last time you was intimate with someone? November of 2022. Oh, you remember the date? I remember the month. I don't remember the day. <laughs> okay. Are you on a celibacy journey? Yeah, yeah. I've been celibate. I, I broke my celibacy journey for a person that I thought I was going to be in a relationship with. And but prior to that, I hadn't had sex for a few years. And so, yeah. Okay, so are you waiting for a relationship? Yeah, like I'm waiting for like a serious, like monogamous relationship. My dogs are acting crazy outside. Okay. Um, okay, three flaws you have to work on. 
three flaws that I have to work on, I would say, um, realistically, I think that like, I want to do, I'm overly ambitious. Like, I think I need to be able to draw it back a little bit. Like, uh, I have too many things that I want to do at the same time. And so like, if I could just focus in on just like a couple of those things, I think I would be a little bit more happier and a little bit more successful. Um, and then uh, I would say that like, I can be combative. Like I do think that like I have, you know, the temperament to really be like, uh, kind of like critical, hypercritical of like other people because I'm hypercritical of myself. So like it makes it it makes it seem as though I'm being combative, but I'm really just like I'm just a very critical person. Like, and that's something that I have to work on. And then a third flaw is just like just reining in on just like what I want, like and just realizing that just because I want something doesn't mean that I necessarily should have it. Okay. And why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Uh, I think that a guy would be lucky to be with me because I am in a space where I'm fully like realizing who I am and who I want to be and where I want to go. And if you are in that space as well, then we could, you know, experience those things together. So, yeah. Okay, let's do it. We got Tom in Chicago, 31, Leo, event manager, no kids, make at least 60K, um, who'll date 25 to 45, men only. Men only, men only. Females, I, I would love a woman, like, for friends, for sure. Like, you know? But, yeah, for if we were looking for a romantic, yeah, it, would, it wouldn't work out. <laughs> men only. How can the guy reach out to you, love? Um, they can reach out to me on my Instagram. I don't really use it that much, but I will, I get notifications, so I'll check it. Uh, it's Oh Hey Tommy. That's O-H-H-E-Y-T-O-M-M-I. Say it one more time. O-H-H-E-Y-T-O-M-M-I. T-O-M-M-I. All right, babe, you keep me posted how it goes, love. All right, thank you. I mean, I'm surprised that you picked me, but I'm super happy that you did. I've been contemplating doing this for like a month. So I'm happy that you you picked me on my first try. So thank you. Yes, I'm happy you tried. Keep me posted if you find your man. I'm trying, girl. I'm trying. Let's okay. go. Bye, baby. Bye-bye. All right, let's try Greg. Greg, show me the room, Greg. All right. All right. Okay. Greg, give me some light. Um, where? Uh, go light. You want the light in your face. Well, I've been saying this for four years. Okay, that's better. Greg. Yes, Kendra. You like vagina? I do very much. <laughs> I gotta start it off with a lady star. I mean, I mean, you know, some some of the men don't want vaginas, so it's all good. We're open to everybody. But I just wanted to get that question out the way. All right, Greg, where are you calling me from? I'm in New York City, Kendra. Well, you have an accent. Where are you from? I'm originally from South Africa. Okay. How long have you been in New York for? Well, I moved here from Florida last year. Okay. Greg, what you do for a living? Um, I'm a household manager for the Rich and Famous. You're a what? Household manager. So you, you manage houses for rich people? And famous people, yeah. For famous people. I'm a, can you tell us any names? Um, No, I sign lots of NDAs. So I, How can I, I say? Don't lose your job, child. No, no, um, no. How old are you, Greg? I'm 40. 40. You have any kids? Um, I'm a single dad of twin boys. How old are your twin boys? They'll be nine at the end of the month. Do you want to share what happened with your mom? Well, it, it things don't work out. Um, it was actually a holiday romance and my boys came. And they just stayed with you ever since? No, they, they came from South Africa three years ago to go to school, yeah. Okay, okay. All right, so we got Greg, NYC, South Africa. Um, he manages houses for rich people. 40 years old, dad to twin boys. Have you ever been married? No. No. All right, let's do it. What kind of woman are you looking for? Well, um, I'm looking for somebody 28 to 34. Um, I prefer very sort of petite ladies. I know I might get some hate for that. Um, Wait, what did I'm you say? Say it again? I don't understand. Well, I prefer smaller ladies, smaller built ladies, petite ladies. Okay. 
Um, well, I'm looking for somebody responsible, um, just a decent, normal type of woman, somebody that I can have around my kids, somebody that I can have around my work situation. Um, yeah. Okay. What are your deal breakers? Um, well, I have so many deal breakers. I, I just want the normal sort of decent woman, God-fearing, uh, family type, somebody that can cook. Um, I love to travel. My kids and I travel a lot. So somebody that can travel with us um, and just have a normal sort of connection. When she's traveling with you guys, are you paying for her? It depends. Um, but if she's my woman, my lady, of course I will. Okay. Okay. Um, should she look a certain way? You said she got to be small. Yes. I think that is my basic thing. It's not a B end or, 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 cause that's supposed to be the last, I think, but, um, you know, guys are more visual. Um, she, you know, that is sort of the basic thing, but what who she is is more important. Who she is is more important. What about money? Should she make a certain amount of money? Um, I make a very good living, so I don't care what she does as long as she doesn't think that I'm an ATM. You don't care what she does as long as she doesn't feel you're an ATM. Yes. Let's do the Kendra Cam. Oh, that is me. That is me. <laughs> uh, you know what? You look, you're, you're in better shape than I thought. Oh, yeah. I, 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 well, I'm trying, as a single parent and the work that I do, um, I travel a lot, so I try and go to the gym. I'm getting better at going a lot more than um, what I should. Okay. Okay. Uh, when was your last relationship? Um, I broke up with somebody three, three years ago and intimate maybe two months ago. Okay. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Two it's months. Three months ago. Okay. Yeah. Three flaws you have to work on. Um, because of what I do, I'm a type A personality, so I'm a bit of a perfectionist. Um, I like everything perfect, and not everybody can understand that. I'm impatient. Um, yeah, and I um, should be more open-minded. Okay, the cousins are telling me, have you been here before? Um, about two years ago. Two years ago. was it? So it was with me? Yes, two years ago. Okay. This is the second time, and... I actually met somebody from the show. I actually met two people. I met somebody that you made a highlight, and I met somebody from, but then I moved and my job, so that's why I'm back. Okay. You only get two times, so this is the second time. Okay. Did I ask you the question, why would the woman be lucky to be with you? No. Um, I'm different, as you can see. I'm refined, very well traveled. I'm accomplished. Um, I'm not a typical type of guy, so that's me. So you're the real life Jeffrey from Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Um, yes, I am. He manages, I... he manages houses for rich people. He's from South Africa, lives in NYC. Um, is 40 years old, dad to twin boys, never married. Do you want more kids? Uh, it depends, Kendra. Um, Private schools in New York City are very expensive. Um, if I fall in love with somebody and get married, maybe one more child. Or if she has one child, um, I think that's it. And there you have it. All right, let's do it, Greg. NYC, how can the woman reach out to you? Um, on Facebook, my name is there. And on Insta, it's Greg. My last name, B-A-D-E-N. B Say it again. On Facebook is my first name and my last name is Greg and my last name is Baden Horst. Okay. And Instagram is Greg, B-A-D-E-N. And there you have it. All right, Greg, keep me posted how it goes. Thank you, Kendra. Take care. You too. All Bye -bye. right, cousins, we got to go. We got to go. I believe we'll be back on Friday. Everything should be the same. I'll see y'all Friday night. Bye, cousins. Bye.